There are hundreds of microgreens varieties out there on the market, ranging from arugula to wheatgrass and everything in between. But I keep coming back to these same four varieties, which has been the foundation of my business over the past six years and really have been instrumental in allowing me to be successful as a microgreens farmer. Hi, I'm Donnie Greens and I've been a commercial microgreens farmer for over six years now. And now I have the privilege of sharing what I've learned with other people, teaching you how to grow your own microgreens at home and maybe even start that business you wanted to start. But in this video, let's focus on those four main varieties that I've been growing for the past six years, which I also highly recommend you start with as well as you start your business or if you're just growing for personal use. So the first is broccoli. This one's an absolute banger. It's the overall healthiest variety. It has the highest concentration of nutrients at 40 times the nutrient density compared to the adult version of broccoli that we all know. And it also has been very popularized due to its anti-cancer properties due to a compound in it called sulforaphane. Now broccoli has really been a top seller for me. Obviously I'm in the health niche, so that makes sense. Plenty of people know about the broccoli microgreens because of all the positive news it's gotten out there. I even have a customer who believes that the broccoli microgreens I've been selling her have been instrumental and have played a big role in the remission of her cancer. So if you want to have a serious impact on your local community and their health, definitely be growing broccoli microgreens because not only are they delicious, they're probably my favorite variety to eat. They're also super, super healthy and you can feel the impact that they have on your health. Not to mention people already know about them, so grow them. All right, next is peas. Peas are awesome. They're probably my favorite to grow and they're so versatile. They're really light, they're crunchy, they have high yields. Chefs, Health consumers and kids all love them and you can even juice them. These are super easy to grow. It's a super easy to grow crop. They rarely give me any problems. And I also find them to be very resilient in fluctuations, whether it be a fluctuation in climate, fluctuation in growing methods or watering. They seem to be very resilient and this makes them a very good beginner crop. But they're not just for beginners. These are for any microgreens farmer out there is probably growing pea shoots. They're an all around awesome crop. They're loved by many and the high yields make for more production in smaller spaces and therefore higher profit margins. Next is radish. Radish is really cool. They're a little bit different than these other three varieties because they have a spicy flavor and they have the color in them. You can get pinks and purples, which makes them really great for chefs and also great for anybody who likes anything spicy. They're also the easiest variety to grow in my opinion and they're also the fastest variety to grow. So grow these as a beginner and watch them stay prevalent as you grow your microgreens business as well. Or just enjoy their spicy taste and beautiful appearance yourself at home. All right, last is sunflower. Sunflowers are interesting. They are a very popular crop and in high demand, especially in the health industry, but chefs will also use them. These can be a difficult crop to grow. They can definitely give you problems and they also take more work because you have to brush off the seed hulls as they grow. And also when it comes time to harvesting, you're probably gonna to wanna to sort through and get the rest of those seed shells off of the plants. Many growers struggle with growing sunflowers and sometimes it's because of bad growing methods. So you can check out the video up here that take you through my exact process for growing sunflower microgreens specifically. But the biggest problem is that the seeds on the market are inconsistent. So if you wanna get your hands on very consistent seeds that are always going to perform for you, check out the seeds that I use at sunflowersuperseeds.com. Sunflowers are a very special crop and they're also very, very loved. If you can get your growing process down and really nail down growing these crops, they're gonna reward you for years to come because not everybody can grow high quality sunflowers and they also have pretty high yields which also results in high profit margins. So if you're up to it, get growing those sunflower microgreens and be sure to get your seeds from sunflowersuperseeds.com. So there you have it. These are the four best microgreens you can start growing, whether you're growing for yourself at home or even growing commercially. And if you're looking for more information on growing microgreens and maybe even running a microgreens business, subscribe to the channel and I'll be sure to provide you with amazing videos every week about microgreens and microgreens business. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.